Just not chatting. Thanks, Jason. You're just chilling, are you? Making big is a hem chris r carl h glad you all got your chili sauce try it with your bacon butty in the morning it's uh i've got a crackle <laughs> Exactly where it is. Hang on. Has it gone? <clears throat> what about now? Better make crackle gone. Do you know what it was? It's Dave's uh, air pump for his tank. So one of you needs to remind me at the end to put Dave's pump back on. Or we'll have we'll be on Dave and Chips tomorrow night. Right, let's do it. Chilly Dave. Oh, he's all right. He's sat there all swimming around or whatever he does.
so it sounds okay. Hi, Mother Hubbard. I'm a... squeak, I don't know why. because they went that's actually been blocked in loads of different countries because they don't like the eagles being I wouldn't mind it wasn't even good it was only like but that's it but it's crazy who else is here Jason Mayhem Chris our mother Herbert so does it sound okay now I think Dave was causing some interference you know why? Because it's National Fish and Chips Day, so Dave was thinking he's going to cook me his tea. Urban Fat Kid Fish and Chips. say that was a good effort. Aha! Hambo! How are you doing? You check your tracking, Hambo, on your PayPal, your source will be with you. Tomorrow, I would have thought.
So you buy a new pedal and it's squeaking. <laughs> yeah. It's this new pedal, but I did pay £10 for it, so what do you expect? Nice one, Hambo. Yeah, you should be with you tomorrow, I would have thought. It's with Hermes, so they deliver either tomorrow or Monday. Shabba Jim Atkins. Who else is here? Anyone else? And tonight, as usual, is sponsored by Coke Zero. And Tesco Dodgy Water.
about. It's only the intro. It will be all right with that one, mayhem. They don't like it. Ah, Stabber Coroidal. How are you, bro? comes and goes. Oh, that's bizarre. I wonder where it is. I've just moved the speaker. I 
I bet it's a squeak on the pedal. It's intermittent. Did it do it now? Right, hang on. Just turn the bass down on the keyboard, so. How's that? Right, must have been the bass then. Cool, so we're fixed then. Everybody's happy. So it was the bass and
Sweet. So it's good then. Buzzing. That's all right then. Right then. Anybody know what that was? Hey Hambo, I won't I won't give away where your address was in the old Wales, but there's a motor club in your village that go out doing all the radio stuff on the rallies that I go on. And they're all uh, so I bet yeah, blowing in the wind. I just blacked that. I remember it on the guitar from years ago, and I just thought, oh, that'd be nice. But yeah, down in there, in your old neck of the woods, Hambo, there's a there's a motor club. So if you do your village motor club, it's uh, they all come out on the rallies, all that gang, which is quite amusing when I seen your address. I thought, oh, I bet you know half of them because it's only a small place where you are, isn't it? See?
<laughs> yeah, they might do, Hambo. I've been to where, where you are in Wales. Yeah. <laughs> now there's an example of the same song with the same chords. So you've got Gabrielle, uh, the rise again. Now I'm free to rise again. Got any of the words to the rise bit? Rise. It's exactly the same song, but we just rise rather than no rise.
give that up as a bad job. Let me just turn the bass down. I just drink uh, still water because I'm a sophisticated cosmopolitan kind of chap, if you know what I mean.
crackling is back. Ah, uh, it's because I'm doing this. It's because it's on electric piano. Hang on. It'll be all right again now. Really don't. Really don't know where it is. There's nothing on. Where's my phone? My phone's there. But I know where it is. About now, has it gone now? Play a few chords. Do you want a jazz chord? the charge pad for the iPhone that it sits in like this I think it's that because the camera's next to that and I've never had the camera there because I thought I'll put it so you can see the keyboard and you can see my ugly mus oh, I bet it was that because it is an active charger that's bizarre so I've moved that away now and you're all saying it's fine so it must be that cheese and tomato very sophisticated by the Hubbard very nice yeah, I bet it's that.
gravy and stuffing. Mm. I've been out for Vietnam. If you're on Instagram, it's the Urban Fat Kid on the Instagram. And there's a, a restaurant near me called Vait Guy. And it was absolutely amazing. I had a thing called uh, Bunka. So it's spelled B-U-N-C-A. And it's like a hot and spicy soup. But it had sea bass in it. And uh, they're like a version of a fish cake. And then it's got all like fresh tomatoes and chilies and uh, celery, onions. It was absolutely amazing. And then little spring rolls for starters. They were awesome. Absolutely amazing. It's happening when I'm talking. I wonder where it is. Well, we're moving house in a couple of weeks, so I'll be in a brand new house. Well, this one's only 30 years old, so. Yeah. Uh... There's nothing on. That's the thing. Don't know where it is. Try something else. Right, let's try this. There's Dave. Say hello to Dave. See, Dave's ace. This is where I had the camera last week, so it must be uh... I just have to blue tack it on the piano. All good in the hood, homie. Homie, you missed my super chat. Homie. 
Palostrof Homeboy. Sing this, you miss my super chat, homie. Yo, bro. Groove Street. Groove Street forever. Groove Street. Hi, Mark Dennison. Mark, you've not done any live streams. You've got to listen to my shite. Biggest heady. Way off, Mark. You're going making some uh, vodka in your eyeball or Foster's. You like Foster's now, don't you? <laughs> oh, I've got hiccups.
tell I don't know it. What are these stop the caronads? Ah, you need to be careful because what they do, they torture you. What they do, they bloody, if you've got an Alexa, it's listening to you going, ooh, he's talking, hang on, I'm having a shake. He's talking about this, he's talking about that, and then they start showing you the ads. It's absolutely crazy. Because I do, I get it all the time. I look at things and I go, the amount of disgust it with someone like, oh, we're going to buy this. And the next thing, you're getting bombarded with ads. It's crazy. So don't put anything like dwarf porn in or anything, because that's it. You'll just absolutely get hammered with it. I don't know. I've not seen the Karen ones. If I see them, I'll let you know. I haven't seen any. It's absolutely mad. But yeah, it's listening to everything you say. Your phone your works. It's all going, ooh, he likes that. That's showing. It's like me. I do a bit of website work and stuff, and they show me Squarespace or Forspace or some crap. But, you know. I wouldn't use that anyway. I'm not, I can code a website from scratch, so I wouldn't use one that you can template. It's, it's absolutely stupid. But yeah, just be careful how you do it. got me intrigued now I'm gonna look in a bit
Cheers, biggest Teddy. Thanks for coming. John Bean, Karen. So go on, tell us all about it. USA, Karen means. Karen is there. Oh, I think like uh, she's a pretty lady, no? Karen is distressed if she's in English speaking countries that are willing to see as entitled or demanding beyond the scope of what's appropriate or necessary. <clears throat> Ah, right. So it's all become apparent. It's a Karen. So if you're a Karen, there you go.
I started that in E flat, but then it ended up in D flat for some reason. So work that one out. So I don't know. <laughs> So, I've had my eyes fixed this week. Look. It's, it's uh Last time they ruined it, they made it absolutely. It was like, uh, I had blood everywhere. It was a nightmare. But I went, uh, went to the eye clinic the other day and they looked after me, made me all nice and sorted. But, yeah, not bloodshot this time. If you remember the live stream from four weeks ago, it looked a right mess and it was like, whoop, whoop. but yeah. But yeah, it was absolutely crazy. But unfortunately, uh, hey, Mother Hubbard, they stick a needle in it. It's horrendous. But you'll know because you've seen you seen the pictures. If you're on the Discord group, I sent some pictures a few weeks ago and it was all bloody and messy and it was all like, Bleh. but I just asked them, I said, just be nice because it was bloody painful, but they fixed it now. But yeah, it looks okay. For, uh... But they look after me there, so, you know, can see okay. So you just got to wonder, haven't you? You've just got to wonder. Yeah, ma'am. You, you'll know. Oh, I tell you. It's... Do you know what? It, it's not as bad as it seems. You know, you think, bloody hell, they're going to stick needles in his eyes, but... Says me, his eyes are dripping like mad. <laughs> but honestly, it's not that bad. You sit there and you go, shit. But when you get one of these bloody idiots who think they know how to take blood, they're even worse. But you, like with these, the good, they just in and out. They put a load of, uh, it's not antibiotics. What's the other one? Anesthetic. They put anesthetic in and just fix you. Don't cry. I'm not. It's just, it's just like, ugh. See? Bizarre. But yeah, it's, uh, okay now, he says. But yeah, either way, you can see, so it's not too bad. But yeah, it was like yesterday. It was like, ooh, God. But I was showing them all the channels. I was like, look, we've got YouTube and sing some songs and make some crazy food but we've been there today and we've picked loads of chilies and everything and loads of uh green beans and cucumber and all stuff like that so might make something this weekend no trust me you don't want anything near your mince pies it was brutal but the problem is, they, they've all... To be fair, though, the guy I've seen, he said he was going to... Uh, the consultant, he was going to start making YouTube videos about the eyes and how they treat them and how to fix them and all. But I said to him, I said, do it, because, like, you know, you're scared shitless. The first time I went, I shouldn't tell you this, because if you got to go, you'll be shitting yourself. You, the fluorescein, they put some of that in. And it took like five of them to put the cannula in. You know, my hands are like shovels, but it took five of them to put it in. So I did that, and then the uh, they scratched my cornea, so I was like crying fluorescent yellow bloody dye. It was like, whoa! But it was like the first time it had been done, so shitting it, it was like, whoa. But yeah, you have to be strong like Batman. And then he's all okay. If you're not strong, you are like a pussycat. You know what I say? 
This is big problem. No, 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 no. Yeah, you're all see. Yeah, but look, it's fixed. It looks good, doesn't it? No blood, all sorted. Yeah, you're right, Coroidal. I've had laser and everything, and they're all the bang on. Really nice people. They're always friendly with you. And you, you're not scared to go once you've been a couple of times. You think, yeah, let's get it over and done with. And you can see again. So, yeah. But, yeah, it's all crazy. Fixed now. This eye is good. There's nothing wrong with this one. It's just this one, it's a bit, a bit crazy. But yeah, I suppose these worst things could happen. Scary. But you sit there going, oh, fuck. But I said to him, I said, I should do a live stream of everybody, uh, of you injecting my eye and scare everybody on my YouTube. And they were laughing. They were saying, yeah, let's do it. I was like, oh, fuck that. <laughs> yeah. Thinking you'd all run a mile. You'd be like, oh, shit. What's that crazy fucker doing now? But yeah, it's one of them. So, a recommendation, if you bought some chilli sauce and it's come, don't eat the chilli first, because Chris R did that, and he said, oh, the chilies." he couldn't taste the chilli sauce, but them basket of fires are, are brutal, they're a nice chilli then. I've probably got another, I don't know, 50 chilies of them to come yet that are not ready, and flowers. We'll get some more. But yeah, they're nice. So we'll see. But next year, there could be some... Uh, where's she from? No, Thailand. Could be some Thai chilies coming next year. Which will be nice. Hang on. I'm just getting YouTube up on my phone so I can bloody read what you're saying. Without having to lean forward. Oh, look. The Urban Fat Kid's live. Oh, shit. Right, Mayhem, the pressure test. So they do that with me. And then they put the light on in your eyes. And then it's bloody... And they do the injection sometimes if you need it. But it's one of them. It's one of them. We know your weak spot for torture, Mother Hubbard. Yeah, yeah, you're all over it, see. She's going to be like, torture me. Carl H, did I cry? No, I am strong like Batman. During war in my country, they are... Uh, when the militant they torture you, they stick thing in the eye, and that makes you uh, resilient and uh, part of the uh, movement for the freedom. You know what I'm saying, no? Yeah, uh, what's it called? It's macular degeneration. That's what it's called. So basically, all the blood vessels in the back of the eye all burst when I had the stroke. And then it fucked it up. But they fixed it now, so everything's okay. Nearer. It took three years, though. 2020 vision and all that crap. So it's all good. Yeah, macular degeneration. So, has anyone got any requests for songs? No eagles. And uh, no Pink Floyd. 
because then I'll they won't monetize it and then they won't play it and then my views will be down. Not asked about money, it's the views so that's the interesting bit with YouTube. It's getting people to watch what the crap you churn out. But yeah. Electric oh, come on, Hambo, I can't play that. <laughs> <laughs> My name's not Terry. Hey, he's good there. Uh, Terry's back on Sunday, isn't it? I'm going to be there watching Sunday service. I missed it. But I've been following on Instagram and watching everything. If you're on Insta, I'm on the, the Urban Fat Kid. So give us a follow. I'll follow you back and whatever. We'll be like friends, man. You know, homies forever and all that shit. Yeah. Electric dreams. <laughs> yeah. I could learn it. We'll always be together. Can I do one? Can I do one? It one's per eye. Right? Yeah, you're right. They can. Sometimes I do. I used to do this eye and that eye at the same time, and it was fucking brutal. You couldn't see for about three days. And in pain. Rock and roll. I don't know any rock and roll. La, 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 la. I remember when rock was young. Yeah. Status quo. I'm too young for status quo. What did they do? Don't stop thinking about tomorrow. Is that, is that a status quo? Bet, bet you're jumping up and down, aren't you? May I'm going, what the fuck? Got to go. Tell your mum I said hey. Thanks, John. I'll see you soon. All the way from the US and A. Rocking all over the world. And I like it, I like it, I like it. Cheers, John Beam. Speak to you soon. Rocking all over the world. And I'm gonna like it. Are you off to Mother Hubbard? I can see clearly now the rain is gone. Yeah, I can do that, I think. I'll have a guess. Does that work? I'm going to guess. Remember it.
Благодаря, Ван Исфам. A unicorn. A long black family had a unicorn. I don't know what noise a unicorn makes. With a long con here. Fuck you now. Stagosaurus. On that farm, he had a Stagosaurus. Right, Hambo, what noise did he make? With a tight, tight here and a tight, tight there. A Stagosaurus butty. Mother Hubbard, thanks for coming. What noise did that make? What a puff the magic dragon. Now that, there's an interesting one. What did Puff the Magic Dragon make? Slice of cake and a cup of tea. Yeah, that sounds good. Well.
there's a question for you. Is there any old dance music fans in the room tonight? Because if there is, you'd have known what that was. Come on, name that tune. Where's all going? I remember him. God. No, no rave music. Not my bag, ma'am. Do you know what? It never used to be mine, but when we were younger, my brother had us bloody playing. <laughs> yeah, First World War, yeah. Yeah, rave music. But my brother got me into it, and it was it's just always stuck, because when you look at the production of the music, it's amazing. It's just not like... You know, you've got like whoever writes a song like the Spice Girls, it's just a load of crap. These dance music songs are actually produced and they're amazing. It's one guy in a room with a keyboard and he's put all the drums in, put all the bass in, put everything in, it's just gone mad. It's crazy. But yeah. I like Dan Slight Douglas Badder. Go on, who's Douglas Badder? <laughs> Me too, with a left leg. Yeah, welcome to my crazy stream with the Urban Fat Kid. Right, I think it's time to knock it on the head now. But thanks all for coming. It's been like, ooh, crazy. Crazy, crazy. So, I'll catch you all. I might do some guitar tomorrow. I don't know yet. But I'll definitely see you all on Sunday on Terry's stream. Yeah, peace, mayhem. Thanks, Hambo. Let me know when your source comes. Drop me a message on the uh, old Instagram. <laughs> yeah, polished your eye. Trust me, don't be doing that. It's fucking brutal. Yeah, let us know. But don't eat your chilli first. You've got a little surprise in the bag when it comes. Nice one, Carl. Cheers. Thanks you for coming. Anyone else here that's before we go? Right. Oh, yeah. Don't forget to say bye to Dave. Dave's cool. Right. Thanks for coming. I'm out of here. Bye.